Hey everyone, thank you so much for stopping by today to see what I am up to. I have a favorite pastime of mine in a box. I finally found the coolest box ever. And this box is from Micro Puzzles, right here, micropuzzles.com. I think this is going to be, says massive fun micro puzzles i think this is one of the most unique boxes i have seen i am an avid puzzle doer especially in the winter time i can sit down with a thousand fifteen hundred piece puzzle and just knock it out just we have a spare bedroom and it just gets set up and as you have time if i can't sleep i go and just my mom gets annoyed with me if we do puzzles together because i wind up finishing a puzzle and oreo is here she hasn't been feeling all that good but she's feeling much better today so she's down because you know there's boxes involved she's like wait i got ripped off i didn't do my bully make i'm like you aren't feeling good okay you have to go lay down baby okay so a little bit about micro puzzles before we get into this every month they send two exclusive micro puzzles and some fun accessories centered around the box theme all for $22 a month. And then this month's theme is trick or treat and the house puzzle has a special surprise. So when I do that, I'll be interested to see. Micro puzzles are perfect for ages eight to 75. You know, I'm beyond, I'm sure. It's, they have uh, 50 plus stock designs and the ability to custom make your own version right on the website um in addition to the monthly subscription box so if there's um you know a family member you wanted to send grandkids and put it on a puzzle and send it to grandmom grandpop or an aunt or just really any idea that you have to send to a loved one or a friend great idea that they do that uh it's a 150 piece puzzle i do believe and it's in a test tube you'll see that in a mo moment it's a four by six puzzle very doable should not take long whatsoever you do receive this box each month around the 20th um i do believe right now they are um trying to see they deliver usps and it's u.s shipping only so they don't deliver outside of the united states they told me they were sending me this box one day and it arrived the next i have never seen it and it came first class mail i never saw anything come that fast of my life in my life facebook twitter pinterest instagram youtube and tiktok they're on and a portion of online sales is donated to their charity that they pick each month which i think is wonderful and love boxes that do that so let's just open this box and this is what you see well i see and we all see when i open the box so there's a little message there trick or treat we're going to go with a pumpkin spice theme but frankly that seemed way too scary enjoy rachel and mike and then brian and shipping and then this like this holds everything in and then this flips up and we have a paper here um this month's micro puzzles and it looks like they have um like a little scratch thing here we'll have to do that but puzzles some information which i love and then this is what i see when i fully open the box i think this is adorable so first thing right here obviously is this not adorable i mean these pieces are small so if you need a magnifier or bright light and glasses i mean i sh i mean i am blind as about without glasses can't see anything but these i'll show you a piece of the puzzle Oh, it's sealed. I'm going to leave it sealed because I'm not going to get to these right away. But I will do my best. Uh, if I can't post pictures before I post this video, I will put them up in my community section because I think it's adorable. But once again, you can see the size of the pieces. Um, and it doesn't tell you which one this is. Is this? Okay, so this is Presto. I kind of tell from the picture here. That's adorable. And then this one. And there is a scan me oh for a bigger image so that if you um and that's right there 
And then this one is the other one. This is the trick or treat. You can see by the label. Once again, the pieces in a test. I think this is the most genius, unique puzzle box I have ever seen in my life. Um, and it looks like they're all like the same, the same size pieces and shape. So that might make it fun and interesting to do. Then we have, oh my gosh, these are my favorite. A lot of people don't like them. Rocks, candy corn. Let me tell you a funny story real fast on this. I worked for an orthopedic surgeon many, many years ago for a lot of years. And it was around Halloween time and we had tons of this. Bags and bags and bags. I don't know if it was Brock's or a different brand of candy corn. And we would just like put them in a candy dish. And this is way back before, you know, people could take some candy corn. And we were constantly eating them. And he saw two of us. There were three of us that worked there. Four of us that worked there. Two of us were just constantly grabbing two, grabbing two. So he said to us the very next day after he was watching us eat them, and there were still probably like 10 bags of, of candy corn. He said, whoever can eat the most candy corn without throwing up, he would give us, I think it was, was it $100? He would give us $100. So it was me and a woman who was probably 10 or 15 years older than me. And she loved candy corn as much as I did. Uh, but we didn't have all day to eat them. He gave us, I think, an hour to eat as many candy corn as we could. Of course, I won because I can eat some candy corn. And we couldn't throw up. That was the deal. You had to keep, keep it down. I was sick as a dog. And my sugar probably went through the roof. That, but I still love candy corn. You would think that would turn me off. But I still love candy corn. And I don't know if this, I could have swore I saw something that it told us what was in, what was in here. Um, maybe I was mistaken. And then the other thing, what is this? Micro puzzles, massive fun. What is this right here? I don't know what this does. I would think it light would light up, but I don't. This is like a battery. I don't know what this is. Right here. Anybody have a clue? Oh. I would think that would, it looks like there's batteries in there to light up. I don't know what this is. Oh, it is a light. I think it's when you're doing your puzzle. But it's a handheld light. I guess if you do, will it stay lit? I don't know. Maybe it's so many times and you have to do it and it stays lit. I have no idea what this is. That's really interesting. It's like a little light. Huh. I like that. You know what I'm going to be snacking on in a moment. So a big thank you to micropuzzles.com for sending this out to me to share with all of you. I think this is a, a great box. Could somebody younger do this? Yeah, as long as they can, as long as they can do puzzles. I mean, obviously a two-year-old or three-year-old, no. I mean, it does say eight and up or eight to seventy-five. Um, you know, I think if you're eight, 10 years old, easily, um, no problem whatsoever. Um, massive fun inside. I'd ha I'm going to have to look at their website and see what this is. I think that's interesting. I mean, it is a light, but I wonder maybe just to help you with pieces. Sometimes it's difficult. I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to look that up. I think this is great. $22 a month. This would make such a great gift for someone who loves puzzles. Now, I love doing puzzles. I had probably 50 puzzles that I had saved. They were stacked on my shelf in the spare closet here. And I didn't know what I was saving them for. Finally, I packed them all up. And they were all Ravensburger puzzles, which are expensive, very well made. I think Ravensburger is German, if I'm not mistaken. 
expensive puzzles and I donated them to charity. I figured, you know what, what am I saving them for? I've completed them all. One I did not and gave it away, still cellophane and, and let somebody else have fun with it. And all the pieces were there. I made sure I taped the boxes up so nothing could get messed up in transport. And this way other people could enjoy them. And that always makes me happy to know that things that I'm giving away that somebody else is enjoying. And um, so right now I'm like down on puzzles. I have a few, um, but this is right here, the micro puzzles. I think this is a great gift. Um, easy to store. Um, you could do the puzzle and then take it apart and put it back here. That's it. I mean, this is interesting. This is going to drive me crazy. I'm going to have to look this up on their website. But you could glue these. Um, I've seen people use like the blue painter's tape across the back of a puzzle so that your puzzle is um, will stay. Once it's done, you don't have to glue it or any of that. And you can hang puzzles. We had so many puzzles at one point. We have another spare room, not this one, um, that I was going to take one whole wall and hang all the puzzles on, different, all different kinds. And never got to it and wound up just tossing the puzzles that we had saved. They were beautiful, some florals and, you know, themed country themes and, you know, Germany and Paris and just the UK, all and just like disperse them in and just fill an entire wall up of puzzles. I thought that would be a really cool idea. But then I was like, oh, you know, like if you have areas that one won't fit, how do you, how do you manage that? So that would have taken some planning. And finally, I just scrapped that idea and uh, got rid of, just threw away the puzzles. I wasn't going to keep them any longer. But these would be easy to store because once you do them, either tape them and you could hang them if that's something you like or take it apart. This is much easier to store than a big puzzle box and um, so much easier to share. Like I can say, you know, to my mom, to my sister, whoever, like, here's a couple puzzles. They're easy because they're four by six. I think I said what I said, four by six. Who can't do it? You can sit down at your kitchen table, your dining room table, a desk. A four by six is easy to do. And I just love the whole um look of this box i just think it's very unique and i love it there's nothing i don't love like i said halloween obviously you're getting this i don't know if they put candy little candy bags in every box but i'm excited hopefully i can get this box again and show you different themes i don't know what they would do for november and then december might be you know obviously a holiday box a christmas box that would be really nice so let me know what you think about this one um, in the comments. I think totally unique and fun box. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see all of you in my next video. Bye-bye now.